Hi everyone, welcome back to the Internet Storyteller, where I share the latest, greatest, and sometimes the most horrific stories of the internet. Today we've got some entitled parent stories again. The first story is entitled, Woman Wants Me to Let Her Cook Her Child Alive. Whoa! <laughs> so, as always, the link to the story is in the description below. So, summer of 2017, I worked as a lifeguard at the local water park. At the time, I was 17 and thought it would be fun to work there. There are a lot of crappy things that have happened and lots of stupid people, but this one has stuck with me the most. We had several water slides and a hot tub which was particularly popular due to the weather averaging in the 70 degrees. We had several safety rules signs posted around the hot tub stating things like no more than 10 minutes at a time, no more than 30 people in the tub, no children under age 6 in the tub. The last one was often the cause of parents getting upset because their child was freezing and just wanted to warm up. We would allow children 6 and under to sit on the edge and put their feet in the hot tub, but due to the county health department rules, we weren't allowed to let them be in the tub completely. Enter Entitled Parent It was early on a Friday morning just after open, so about 10 a.m., and there were maybe six families in the park, no wait times, and no small children in the kiddie pool. This lady walks up to the hot tub and starts getting in, babe in arms. I guessed by the sight this child was two years old or so. I reminded the lady of the rule, but that she could place her child on the edge with feet in the water if she liked. Shortly after, I looked back over at the lady, and not only was her child not on the side of the tub, her child was completely submerged in the water, which was another rule you couldn't put your head under. So I rushed over to her and her child to check on the child, and she quickly scooped her child out of the water and placed her on the side of the pool, all well within sight. I said to her, Ma'am, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave the hot tub if I see you place your child in the water again. She snapped back at me. Don't call me ma'am. I'm probably the same age as you. Anyway, what's it to you? It's my child. And if I say it's okay, then it's okay. I responded, I'm sorry, but since I don't know your name, that's what I thought would be appropriate to call you. As much as I would like to let you decide what temperature water is okay for your child, it's part of my job to enforce the rules, and that particular one isn't even created by my employer, but rather the county health department. She scoffed, then said, Sure it is. She rolled her eyes and walked towards the other side of the hot tub. Shortly after she got out of the hot tub, she walked to one, one of my co-workers, asked something, then went to the office to speak to my boss. A few minutes later, my boss came to me and said, A lady just complained to me that you were rude to her? Want to tell me about what happened? So I explained that I noticed that she wasn't following our rules and had brought her toddler into the hot tub regardless of my warnings. My boss was totally understanding and said, Yeah, that's what I thought. She tried to tell me that you had called her kid a little piece of crap and you called her fat. She said she wanted you fired and free tickets to the park. I told her I'd reprimand you and we'd look into what happened. I just came over here to make it look like I was giving you a talking to. <laughs> so, you know what? Good on this um, lifeguard. I mean, wow, to stick up to the lady, that, that's really good for the sake of her child. And I hope that the child is okay after this time. I mean, I mean given that... The mom was willing to put the child in the hot tub. Who knows what other horrible things that the mom was willing to put the child through. So uh, good on the lifeguard for this particular instance, at least. 
Okay, the other story that we have for today is called Entitled Mother and Daughter Ruin Wedding Proposal. In this story, I'm going to leave out some details and things that were said, mainly because most of it gets off track from the point I want to say and are just too rude and childish for me to explain and mention. This happened a few days ago, last week. It was the first warm sunny day we had in a while, so my friends decided to go to the park and hang out. It was Saturday and most of us didn't have work that day. We bring some food, a football, having a good time. There are also some families, people walking on the trails, kids at the swings and jungle gym, etc. Just a nice day. We are at a picnic table eating, having dessert, when a friend suddenly stands up and says he has something to announce. He then turns to his girlfriend that he has been dating since grade 10 and proposes with a ring. Surrounded by friends in beautiful scenery, lovely time and place. His girlfriend gets all teary-eyed and says yes, hooray! We cheer and congratulate as he puts the ring on her finger. A little while later is when Entitled Mother and Daughter walk up to us. Entitled Daughter must have been about 10 years old or so, older than any of us, and it amazed me how she acted like a 5 year old wanting a toy she couldn't have with her mother. They approach us, and for a moment I think maybe they are congratulating my friends. Nope! Entitled Mom says, Excuse me, may I ask a favor? We all look at each other confused. The boyfriend says, Uh, sure. Entitled Mom says, Could my daughter have that ring? Now, I have heard some pretty dumb things in my life and have dealt with entitled mothers before, but this one takes the cake as the most ridiculous. The boyfriend says, What? No! The entitled mother doesn't take that as an answer and continues talking, saying that her daughter needs the ring. Entitled mom says, When my daughter's ex-husband proposed, he didn't give her a real ring. She needed a real one to look like a real bride. It ruined their whole wedding and marriage. It shocked me that the woman thought my friend, all of us at the table being broke college students, would have enough money to buy a real wedding ring. It wasn't either. The boyfriend said, Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but she can't have the ring. Another friend says, Wait, you said ex-husband, right? Why does she need the ring if she's not even married anymore? Entitled daughter says, Because the wife gets to keep the engagement ring even after the divorce. Everyone knows that, silly. The girlfriend says, But why do you need my ring? Entitled daughter says, I'm reaching my 30s. It's too late for me to find love and marry again. I need a ring to remind me that I'm still worthy. I say, but what about the ring that you got from the divorce? At this point, I kind of found it hard that she had ever been engaged at all. Entitled daughter says, because it wasn't real, I need a real one. The girlfriend says, well, this ring isn't a real diamond either, if that's what you're looking for. Another friend said, no college student can afford that. The entitled daughter then tried to take hold of the girlfriend's hands. I think maybe seeing the ring by the look of her face of shock when she was told it wasn't real, or maybe to take it by force. But we had enough of her and all told the mother and daughter to leave. As they left, the mother yelled at us and told two of my friends that their marriage would be a train wreck. Another friend says, Not as much as your gold digger daughter's marriage. This set off the entitled daughter. She didn't charge at us, but she looked like she was about to. And I have never seen a grown woman have such a fit in her life. 
she threw a tantrum for a good five minutes before stomping off. It ruined the rest of the day for us, but my friends are still strong and planning to marry later in the year after they graduate. Wow, okay, well, that's a great story. Um, you know what that reminds me of? This story reminds me of that one Houston rodeo story that I told earlier in my channel about um, basically a mom wanting to take the ring of another woman at the Houston rodeo. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed these two stories. And as I said before, if you want to see a link to these stories, please see the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks. I'm the Internet Storyteller. Bye.